Hello viewers, we're not long now to the launch of F1 2020 and we have a features trailer. Let's take a look. So F1 2020 is going to be out in the next few days. We'll likely have another video just looking at the game in a bit more detail when we're allowed to show everything in the game. Uh, obviously covers the core things here and designing your own, you know, cars and teams and, uh, you know, the the, uh, the F2 uh, Formula 2 integration, the uh, split screen racing. Uh, there's more features this year. Uh, and of course the new circuits as well, which kind of always helps uh, the Codemasters team when they've got new circuits, real circuits that are in there. And obviously they haven't been run and won't be run this year, but they're still in the game, which is nice. Uh, and no doubt Codemasters are busy beavering away on the new liveries, which have been revealed recently as well. So lots of work going on up to the last minute. No doubt work will continue with player feedback to get the game where everybody wants it. Um, we'll have a review coming up as well. Our F1 man, Tim, will be working on biz busy beavering away uh, on his review. And I'll be doing a bit more time on the classic cars because I like the classic cars. Rather interesting podium celebrations. I can't say the podium celebrations appeal to me at all. But in a way, they... They show me how Formula One has changed as an audience. You know, when I was younger, Formula One was a more mature man sport. You know, you didn't get into Formula One until you're into your mid to late 20s. Now you've got teenagers getting into Formula One. The drivers have dropped in age. They don't need the experience they did years ago. You know, you can, you know, the amount of electronics in the car now and simulation, you can put somebody much younger in the car. And I feel that represents the audience and in a way, that's what it is. It's it's a much younger age group now that are watching Formula One, that are playing. And I see these podium celebrations, which essentially, I don't know, they just have that kind of Fortnite vibe to me rather than Formula One. It's all a bit tacky to me, honestly. But that's racing these days. You know, that's what it's all about now. It's about memes and, and everything else. And I, I would really like to see some back to back to basics racing once we get to 2021 let's hope we 2022 now it's going to be of course uh, let's hope we see some of the technology removed from the car rather than constantly more and more and more helping the drivers too many aids too much tech i would prefer to see a purer driving experience but that's me rambling about formula one looking forward to the race this weekend uh, and no doubt I'll have a bit of chat about that on the channel as well. Just some feelings and thoughts. Don't tend to do it so much these days. I, I, it's funny. You could talk about Formula One years ago and, and everybody would respect each other and drivers would respect each other. Whereas now I just feel that there's just not as much respect for people these days as there used to be. And you know, everyone gets angry. They get on their high horse and there's no sort of reasoned debate now. It's uh, it's interesting how it's changed and it's sort of less enjoyable to talk about in a way. So um, Formula One, uh, I will get back into playing it. Video to come, Tim's review to come. And uh, do let me know what elements you would like to see from the game in particular. If I have the opportunity to record them, I will. And we'll take a look at those as well. But um, that's it from me for now. As ever, 
more soon. Hello viewers, well thanks for watching the video today. Do like and subscribe, it supports what we do. Do become a YouTube member, YouTube Patreon supports all of our content you see on the channel and of course lots of gaming from retro to modern games. I love it all in terms of racing action. So click on one of the two videos just there to find out more.